Right, so we'll have a look now at the channels, distribution channels. Today, what's available uh, at generally av general availability is Outlook, SharePoint, and Teams. So we'll have a look at each of those channels. Engage is coming soon, as it suggests. It will be a, a channel to be able to publish uh, your publication and the content. But what will be interesting to see here is uh, that we can preview or customize. Let's go customize. It kind of does the same thing, right? Let's of doing customize. We're now going into the editor, and so we could switch to preview as well. That's what it's going to look like at the moment. Uh, in an email, it's taking all of our content and it's putting it all in one column. Uh, so remember, I had a right sidebar. Well, in SharePoint speak, uh, usually when the screen size adapts, that anything that is from left to right, and then it starts on the next section. So I only had one section, but I had a right sidebar. That's going to bump the sidebar down to the bottom of the message, as we expect. That Yes, there's my resources there. Interesting that it hasn't brought across the Teams logo. So, And everything's blue, right? I didn't get to choose the color. Uh, but it's, it's there in draft. Now let's go back into customize. So this gives me the feeling that I'm in a email editor now. I have who the message has been sent from. Uh, I can send it to. So we could go through a few things like that. Um, and I just wanted to note here too that if I'm working on this part of it and maybe I'm crafting up this message, uh, that it's actually starting to change it from the main draft that we might go back to. You know, if I have been crafting things here, I want to make sure that, um, that that's all in sync. So these words, these are words and they are great. <laughs> Let's make that change. Um, and then that's saved. Let's go to distribution channels. Go into Outlook. Did it bring through that change? I expect it will. Yep, these words and these are great. Now if you, you went about changing something in here, it's going to get out of sync. So let's put a full stop there. I think at some point it'll detect that and then tell me. That's what I saw earlier when I was playing with it, but never mind. Uh, it does something like that. And if you do make some of those changes and they're reasonably significant, then you might get a little message up here to say, do you want to reset the message back to what the, the um, oh, there it is. Uh, updates were made that are not reflected on the main draft, right? So you can reset your content back to what the main draft was. Yes, I do. Okay, so back to that. Let's look at what we would do with a, an Outlook channel. It's an email channel, of course. And one thing that you might do if you are uh, sending messages as a group is that you probably have a shared mailbox to um, send on behalf of so that messages are coming from a single identity, not from Daryl, not from Laura, but from IT comms. And you have permission to send on behalf. And then the replies are going to come back to that shared mailbox as well. So we're, we're used to that as communicators. Um, let's see if I can do that. So from, I can change. And I've got a few options there. I haven't used this um, address that I've set up yet. But I'm going to type, what was it called? IT comms? IT comms? Yes, right. So I've given myself permission to send on behalf of. And that's important. You could put addresses in there. Um, but it's not going to work if you don't have permission to send on behalf of. Who are we sending to? We can send to individuals. So I am going to send to an individual just to show you that I can. But uh, really we're going to be sending to distribution groups, aren't we? Because that's a communications channel. So we have all MWM, uh, which is my demo distribution group for Modern Work Mentor. Right, I think that's all we need to do for Outlook. Uh, you see that we've got some options to be able to send. Uh, uh, what does this look like? So let's send a, a message, a test message. I'm not sure what's different there. <laughs> but uh, no, we didn't make any changes. I'm just going to trust that I actually got this right. But uh, let's, IT, okay. let's, let's just take a look at this to start with. Review the sender field. So it is giving me um, some warning here that um, IT comms is listed as the sender before publishing. Make sure that you have permission to publish on behalf of or publish on their behalf. Uh, if not, change 
the name and the sender or ask your IT comms to publish. Got it. Um, right, so send a test message to myself. Let's do that. So it is going to look like we see in the preview, but if we go now over to, uh, did I have email open? Let's have a quick look here. Outlook, um, new teams is now available. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like, like the preview. But at least we see and we've got some confidence about what it looks like. Uh, and you might note too that uh, while I've been creating the campaign space, I got this email here to say that you've been invited to a new um, group. And so it is a Microsoft 365 group in the background using Microsoft Teams, m leveraging SharePoint uh, to craft our message and as they campaign app, web app you might say. But there's our draft. Okay, back to our other channels, SharePoint. Um, we have options here to, to publish to up to 10 sites. So I'm gonna pop in, what was it, way we work. Way we work. And we'll put in uh, modern work mentor. All right, so way we work is my IT site which I use for communications to people about how we work and tech and change and stuff. And the Modern Work Mentor site is my main intranet. They will be two sites where this publication will be sent to. And we'll see what that looks like once we have published it. There's not too much more options there. And you know, it's funny, we've got a preview button up here which says, oh, show me what it looks like. No dotted lines. <laughs> um, as we expect. So changes made here will affect the main canvas. Mm, interesting. Okay, so while we are in this SharePoint space, uh, when we make changes, it looks like they will reflect on what the main draft is because it's the SharePoint tools. I'd go back to main draft if I wanted to create any significant changes anyway. There's more room. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, so let's now look at the Teams option. And you know, this gets interesting. <laughs> Um, we've got this option here, it says post as, and of course it's picking up my name. Now that suggests that I have the ability to pop in someone else's name. So let's see what happens if I put in Laura, for example. Pop your name in there and I get this warning. Um, Laura's listed here, messages that you post must have your name as the sender. If not, change the name uh, or ask Laura to publish. So I can't publish on behalf of Laura, that is not a thing that we can do in Teams today. Um, and maybe when the engage option comes in, because it does have the option to post on behalf of, we can. But I have to put my name back in. Okay, so what is our options here? This is where we have to think a little backwards. Um, we would normally think, okay, where are we publishing this message to when it's Teams? It's not to a group chat, it's not to a chat bot, it's not to uh, an app like Company Communicator where maybe it's sent directly to everybody, but it's sent to a team and a channel. And what we have to do is create the, or rather know what the channel is that we, we want to send it to. So if we look at that top example, um, the first word campaigns is the name of the channel. <laughs> and then internal communications is the name of the team. Um, so that's not one that I'm going to choose anyway. I'm going to choose, what was I going to choose? Ah yeah, so Project Radio, the general channel, and Marketing Team Product Launch. Um, now, the general channel is generally a good place to send things because everyone on the team is going to see it. So what happens when I type the word general as as the channel, um, nothing? <laughs> Maybe because there's so many general channels it's not gonna be uh, of any use. Um, but if I type in, what are we called? Um, I have to check again. Project Radio and Marketing Team. 
So let's try Project Radia. Whoops. Radia. Okay, so I'll put in the name of the team and the option I have here is General. So if you want to post to the general channel, you've got to put in the name of the team first, and then you see the general channel. Um, but the channel that I want to post to, well, let's have a look. Let's just, just, just for fun, Project Radio. I want to post to it something other than general. Let's try change management. Uh, so if I type change management, Did I change that right? Change ch. Wow. Interesting. I don't remember naming the uh, channel change management change MGMT, but maybe that's what it was. So choose that. And uh, I know this is about the fourth time that I've gone back to my list. Uh, it was marketing team and product launch marketing team and product launch or so we go product launch okay so you see it's already making me go a bit loopy and backwards because i'm trying to remember what was the channel name again before the team anyway so up to five channels i've got three left i'm not going to choose an additional three but this is where you when you're sending out your message to teams as a distribution channel you have to pick the teams that are going to, you know, reach your audiences, uh, and you know this could be at that divisional level or that, um, you know, department level where you're trying to reach a lot of people. You also have to have the ability to post to those places. So my account has to be a member of those teams. I don't think the service posts on my behalf. Uh, because the goal of this tool is to give you the ability to reach your audiences. That's permissioning, right? I, I shouldn't be able to publish a message to a, a group of executives when I don't have access to the team. Uh, so, and our other options, we can have two types of posts. There's the regular post and there's the announcement. If I make it an announcement, I've got the ability to drop in a headline. Uh, and at the moment in new teams, I've only got color accents, but eventually we might have uh, the ability to put in a um, image banner in behind. Who can reply? Everyone? Cool. Or just myself and moderators. So that might be a message where I don't want people to reply and give their opinions and thoughts. I'm not trying to drive engagement. Just get the message out there. Um, and on that topic, before we go too much further, uh, when you do send this out um, and you're sending it to these teams, because you're the person crafting the message, you will get you will get notifications when people reply to that post so this is something that you either need to go and mute the thread after you've sent it or maybe have your notifications set so that you're not getting likes and replies um, notifications to to uh, that post uh, here we have the option to post a test message and the test message will go to the general channel of the campaign team. So it's not going anywhere public yet, but when I post that and then I find the team where that is, so our general channel and our posts tab, there it is. And what does this look like? Well, I mean, there was a good chunk of text at the beginning. Um, there's no header. All right, not like not like the publication where we're in SharePoint where we can see that. We've got the images. Um, we've got a link through to the video that I referred to. That's not embedded, of course, um, which is interesting because you do have the ability to add a stream video and it embeds in there. Um, and then related resources. There were quick links. Now that they're, they're a bulleted list at the bottom, so it's still getting the information across generally. But you know what I find interesting about the three channels is that I would have expected that when I'm crafting this message in, uh, in the campaign team, that it might go to a communication site, a single one, and that we would be pointing everyone to there. Maybe that this would have a link through to the, um, go here to read the full story. Uh, but the goal here with, uh, with Amplify is that it's giving you the whole message on each of those channels. 
and it's all about how you uh, use and leverage those channels, you know, whether you're sending it to a site that um, can reach wider audiences. Okay, back to this. We've um, had a good look at those sorts of things. Uh, let's take a look at our publishing options now. So we have taken a look at each of those um, each of those distribution channels. I think as I look now, it thinks that these, the, cust the content has been customized. Now I, I didn't click around and change anything here, um, but interesting to see that warning. Uh, let's